fourth uh, Wexford Documentary Film Festival uh, is going uh, on from the 9th to the 11th of September, and it's in Kilmore Quay. Now, there's a serious side to this, but there's also a little bit, you know, of, of, of fun and, and all of that. Now, first of all, I'm joined in the studio by uh, Andy McGarry. Good morning to you, Andy. Good morning, good morning. Okay. Now, um, we were hoping also to get uh, film director uh, Richard O'Donnell. Now, we're having problems trying to get Richard, so you might be you might be holding the fort here for the next few minutes, but you're okay with that, aren't you? I'm fine. Say yeah. yes, Jim. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, um, this, this fourth annual documentary film festival, um, so it has a number of objectives, if you like. It does, yes. Educational? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Thought-provoking? Definitely thought-provoking. And the art of film documentary making? It is, yeah. Well, Is, is that it in it a is, nutshell? Uh, yeah, it is. I mean, when you consider, you know, the, the creative treatment of actuality is, is, is the, the best definition you can give of documentary um, film. Um, and and this, these particular documentaries we're showing will be showing films um, on um, environmental issues, will be showing films on um, human rights, and will also be showing films on s- social justice. And, and those are the kind of the threads which have kind of woven their way through the last four four years worth of films have been shown. It's about it'll be about a hundred films that have shown when we complete this circuit. Yeah, a hundred films altogether. I yeah, yeah so, so far shown. Um, tell me first of all a little bit about your own background and and, and how you come to be organising these events. Um, well, I'm a visual artist, um, and I was approached uh, about six years ago by Augustine O'Donoghue. Um, she wanted a, a sort of a venue for a, 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 a sort of an artist film um, a project, and so we ended up showing it on Kilmokey Beach, uh, up against a cliff. And uh, I've I, I gone on really well with Augustine, so then we kind of we had this idea: why don't we actually transfer it into a, a sort of stable venue? And then we came up with the, the first, second, and third. Um, documentary film festivals and then we decided that we were doing this we were punching above our weight but what we really needed was was extra extra bods and input and, and ideas so we decided to sort of throw up and like and be the gates and we, we turned from a monarchy to a democracy and so now we're, we're run by committee and it's 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 really great being a, a member of this committee because they're they're, they're so dynamic you know we have a, a brilliant fundraiser we have um characters who are superb graphic designers we've got got a website now um and um we have a sort of a, a kitty in the in a fund a war chest <laughs> yes in which to operate from yeah to operate from whereas we were sort of running on a shoestring previously you know do you come um, from a social justice kind of orientation, background-wise, or what? Yeah, that's a great question. What, what motivates you? <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't call myself an activist. You know, I, I'm kind of primarily a visual artist. That's that's how I sort of see myself, and I see myself. I'm, I'm very good as a facilitator. So, so I see myself as just assisting the the things to happen. You know, um, and, and spotting an opportunity and, and and sharing that opportunity with other people. Um, what's interesting. And I don't know if it happens to anyone else. When I watch these films, I get ideas, and, and those ideas can promulgate and all kinds of other things, you know, which which may or may not affect the practice that I'm involved with. And um, that's why it's exciting being part of this particular dynamic. Give me an example of how of how one documentary or present production emanated from something else that you had done or, or that you had seen. Um, I'm trying to think now. That's a good question. Um, well, I suppose. Say for example, um, something that's affected me from a, like I'm still thinking about this is the the the, the, lo- the second longest wall in the world is is the one that separates the the, the Sahrawi from the the, the the brethren, you know, and it's it's down through Morocco, and uh, I didn't learn that until I saw the first the first film about the Sahrawi, which we showed a couple of years ago, and um, the, since then they've kind of mobilised and they've they've put down the Kalashnikov and they've picked up instead the paintbrush and the pen, and what they're doing is they're kind of um, they're sort of fighting back using art as a way of as a methodology if you like uh, and, and so that they're, they're using ideas as as their force to try and raise awareness and i think that's quite exciting from an artist's point of view um i think it's our turn really <laughs> it's the okay. artist's turn to have a say okay this one's called the fallen down the broken house blues it's written uh, i'm on foot of complaints i received just a cheap fixer of things 